This affluent area seems to have fewer uh, washing machine places. I'm just not seeing them on basic bike rides and well I should probably take another look at Google Maps because sometimes they get missed but I'm just not seeing them around these areas. You know, with those 3D cameras, if you think about it, there's rarely a need to have to look up. I think if they're going to make a good 3D camera, they probably don't need to bother with that, that extra camera that faces the sky. I saw eBay was on Hamilton somewhere. This is a huge building, unmarked. <laughs> it says South Campus. I think this is eBay, but they're not advertising it. I don't see any signs. There it is. Oh, okay. I do see a sign now. And it is full. For eBay. And why? Man, I'd really like to bicycle through them tents. I'm sure they're pretty strict. This is just a road. Yeah, security. Oh my god, right there. <clears throat> so eBay is across the street and over here. Man, I was gonna like turn around, but I don't want the security guy on me. hundred chairs and a tents and tents. <laughs> not just not just video cameras but high definition video cameras they said on a sign. full on the side of the roads but no restriction for parking on the side of this road you don't see any signs park all day <laughs> so these homeowners that let their fruits rot on the ground right in front of everybody they just Maybe they're making the right decision because maybe their food could be tainted being so close in, in the city to, to a road. But it'd really be nice if they could just maybe pick it up and put it to the near the sidewalk and just say something like, have a sign that says free. But maybe the food is tainted. They don't want to have that responsibility. You know, there's a lemon tree. Whether the 
owners are eating those or, or just letting them rot too. It's hard to say. But the liability issues are probably what's preventing a lot of people from giving away a lot of food. Alright, I had some of that Starbucks Via Instant Coffee. And it took about 45 minutes before my chest started feeling a little tight. And it's been tight for now, let's say the past hour. I stopped at the Safeway. Well, it's behind the house. I was going to get some chili peppers, so I went to the Mexican section. But they don't sell any uh, dried chili peppers. It's too bad. I wanted to eat those a little bit. Put them in the water. See if I can relieve the, the heart a little bit. It's kind of messed up. And also, let me just say, maybe it's because uh, my sh my sock is ripped. Let me, let me just kind of show it's... It's like right, right there the, where the ripped sock is. I, I need to just throw this sock out and uh, put on a new one. But I'm starting to feel a lot of abrasion on my on the skin. Start, it's getting a little rub, getting rubbed a little raw. All right, so there's a local carpenters, local 405, I B E W. That's not familiar. NCCRA Plasters, I think that's the one. Hard to tell. Alright, well Google Maps brought me here, but it's actually on this yellow piece of paper. Random video recording. About the distance that he can spray uh, bark and mulch and stuff. Look at that, that's like a 150 feet. Jet mulch, play fiber. pretty incredible. I didn't know they had such uh, propulsion. Another general random random randomonium They do have a bicycle lane, but that's too dangerous. How many under bridge pathways have a wall to separate 
the uh, pedestrians. Oh, jeez. The pedestrians from the the car traffic. This is the first I've ever seen. There was no graffiti on the wall either. Also, let me admit, I have yet to see any Chinese lettering graffiti or any Asian language graffiti. The Asians just don't do it. They don't do the graffiti. I see it in Spanish and I'll see it in English.